Hello! Welcome Ooh. into Makeup Monday! Makeup Monday! Yes! This is the only place that you will ever tune in that we are genuinely excited about Mondays, but it's only because we get to spend the hour with you. I'm your host, Courtney Kaysen, and thank you very much for joining us during the last hour of your workday, the one where you want to sneak out early the most. This actually looks like you're doing something. You're so productive and hopefully we can teach you amazing things. We are here every Monday where we talk makeup, we talk skincare, and of course, all the latest trends that you're seeing in beauty. I am joined, of course, by my most amazing colleagues and beautiful people, dare I say. Sean is here. Hey, Sean, hey. We have Mike Z. Hey. hey, hey, and then joining us is a very special fly-by and drive-by. This is Maddie's first day on Makeup Monday! Hey. Woo hey. And of course the other CC. She is getting ready to fly to Europe. She might be in the oh, chat. Oh. She might be swinging by to say hey, but here's how Makeup Monday works. So we've got a great group of people standing by that will, will be answering questions from Facebook, from YouTube, and of course, from QVC.com. Now you might be finding Makeup Monday on QVC.com. You may be thinking, I didn't know it even lived there. You can actually just search in the search bar, Makeup Monday, and that'll take you to our landing page where you can watch this live, you can watch the previous week's video and tutorial, or if you're watching on QVC's Facebook page, Beauty IQ, or my page, feel free to say, hey girl, hey. If you want to shout hey, out, girl, hey. hey girl, hey. Yeah, if you want to say hi, um, we have Mike and we have Maddie standing by. If you want to ask any questions, make sure that you ask them on Facebook because we also poll on Facebook as well. On YouTube, we just don't have the ability because it's so new to write you back real time. So if you have a question, QVC Facebook, Courtney Case and QVC, or Beauty IQ. So, shall we tell you what this week's theme is? Are I've been sure? thinking about it all weekend long, because it's a tough one, right? There's a lot of hype around this, and the theme is ColourPop. Now hear me out on this. ColourPop could mean a couple of different things, right? Because you're like, do I wear it with my clothes? Do I wear it in beauty? I actually am thrilled we're talking about it in the makeup sense, only because when I think about ColourPop, I don't always want to wear a bright orange, t-shirt or I don't always want to wear something that's hot pink. I kind of have my set of clothes. Like how do you accessorize? Makeup is the perfect way to do it. You don't have to worry about sizes because it's like a lipstick is one and one for all. And so I'm actually going to use a couple of different palettes, some which are brand new, to do like a really bright eye color um, and then kind of keep the rest of my makeup neutral. So if you have any preferences on what colors you'd like to see, I'm actually going to open this up really quick. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Moon Dust palette and it is everything that I stand for in eyeshadow. Does it look like a unicorn? Are there at least eight colors? Could I use them all to bedazzle my arms and my legs? Yes. So that is here. That's going to be the inspiration for my outfit with a lot of color pop. And then to supplement with my neutrals, I am going to use the Natural Lust palette from Too Faced. So all lots of good looks here. I'm, I'm blushing from all these names. I know. So I know. Shirley says hi. Hi, Suzanne, Shirley. Connie, Donna, hi. Lisa, all say hi, Courtney. We Got have a someone good from group. Up, Donna's from upstate New York. Ooh. And, uh, you know what we should do? Speaking of upstate New York, we ought to do a Woodstock look. Oh, okay. Because Woodstock is back on in Watkins Glen. They have a new financier. So and the 50 years, right? yeah, fifty years, and the show's back on. So we should do like super hipped out flower child makeup. I think you should. Huh? Yeah, we could do that. All right. So let me know on Facebook. Maddie's standing by. So is Mike Z. What kind of colors do you want to see in eyeshadow? There's berries. There's purples. There's pink. There's oranges. There's greens. There's coppers. There's silver. Oh my! Oh my. I am so excited about today. I don't even know what to do. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to start with this uh, Confidence in a Cream. It's the Rosy Glow from It Cosmetics. First of all, you open it up and there's this slight iridescence and slight rose scent that just like wafts around you. You actually don't think you're in a studio right now that like is right down the street from where, where you work. The opulence of this is absolutely decadent. It's a thicker moisturizer, which I love, because especially in the summer, my skin can dry out really easily. And so I 
actually prefer a thicker moisturizer because I feel like it lasts longer throughout the day. So I am just going to do a little north, south, east, west moment, and then do a little dab around my neck and then on the nose, and then this is how I do my moisturizer so that I don't over use it. Because sometimes when you get these really luxurious textures, I overuse it, and at some point they just stop working, and then you're like, oh man, what should have been like a three month supply was only two. I'm gonna put some more on because that just feels good. Like, do so you see that rosy tone that's happening? Like, Mike Z, are you, are you seeing this? Like, I didn't walk in here with this. Look at all that glow. Oh my God, I know, so I know. It's so natural too. Oh, I just feel like a new person. Like, we could stop here. Like, look at all that. It's not too shiny. It's just like the perfect kiss of like, do you get facials daily? I think about what I would do if I won the lottery. All the time. I think as it relates to beauty, I would get an addition put on my house and have like a mini salon put in there. I, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? I, I <laughs> should be persuaded, but yeah. I mean, I have bigger kitchen. Bigger, sure, bigger kitchen's always great. It would make my wife really happy. Should we ask that in our poll? What would you do first if you won the lottery? I think, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, maybe it's something practical, like a great kitchen. I mean, you gotta eat, right? I, you know. But for me, it's like I gotta put on makeup, so How big equal is this? of importance. How big is this? Beauty room that you're you know, I think it'd be like a casual size. Like it could just be like a 15 by 15 room. 15? That's casual? It's casual oh, okay. for beauty. You know, because like I'd have a hooded dryer in there. I'd have a wash bowl. I'd have a standing self tanning machine. I'd probably have a yoga mat that would never be used. <laughs> and then I'd have a desk with shelves where makeup could live. That's interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> This is interesting. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll stay with the kitchen. <laughs> all right, so Mike's going to, all right, Sean, what are you going to buy if you win the lottery? Uh, I'd buy a whole new house. I wouldn't buy uh, a whole new maybe, <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's the answer. I'll just buy a whole new house. I'll buy new construction. So yeah. then it's not bougie because I had the room anyways. I would love there to put go. an office over my garage. There you um, go. We got Donna from upstate mm. New York saying hi. Hello, lady. Shirley from the beautiful Smokies in Eastern Tennessee. Oh my gosh, I we love East Tennessee. Got, my husband's uh, from Knoxville, or Knoxville. We got a California, we got a Burbs of Philly. Oh, Burbs, Burbs of Philly. Philly. Uh, Ohio, go Browns. Yay. New Mexico, the land of enchantment, another Ohio. Actually, do you want to hear something funny speaking of New, uh, New Mexico? So my mom went there once with my stepdad. By the way, I'm using the CC color correcting cream, which is the number one beauty product I would take to a deserted island. Like if you only get one, this is it. It's SPF, it's color correction. Like if you're gonna be stranded and it's hot and you can't eat, at least your skin looks good. These are the days of our lives. Um, so anyways, my mom went to New Mexico and she went to one of those aura readers. Oh yeah. So she got her picture taken and like off a regular like home printer, the person then took like this special elixir, which could have been water, it could have been a, an elixir, and starts dropping it over her picture so that the printer ink melts and turns into all those crazy colors and that's how he told her what her aura is. I feel like this is probably like up in Taos or something like right? that. Right, like I, I fully want to partake in like an aura reading, but that just to me sounds like we could have done that at home. I don't know. If you can read auras, you let us know what the protocol is. You can is. have an aura machine in your beauty room. Well, I mean, if it's just like an HP printer, I think everybody could have an aura. Or you can have an Zelda. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. just need the right elixir. Right. Yeah, I just need an elixir. Um, which, by the way, we could use the Josie Marin Moon Drops elixir. Oh. Yeah, right? I think we have it solved. I think that you could come to QVC and you now have Aura readers. Our names are Cece, Maddie, Mike, and Sean. <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I think we have we have the ground laid out. Probably. We do. We know what's up. Um, by the way, if you're sitting here watching me and you're like, girl, that is some, some shine. I would like to tell you that because of the lighting that we use in here, it's super, super bright, so it looks really, really shiny. Don't think that if you were to pick these products up, you'd be like, my gosh, is it going to look like I am under running water but no water in sight? No. Once you give these products time to set and when you're not under like super bright lights, it looks very 
normal in person. I just like to always disclose that. So if you want to hear what Jackie, who is watching on Beauty IQ, would want? Yes. We'd she love would to want hear. a bigger kitchen and mm -hmm. a bigger bathroom with huge built-in vanity or a huge closet with a vanity and a beverage bar so it would never have to leave. Beverage bar. Like beverage bar. That's genius. I mean, is it too forward of me to ask if a beverage bar is coffee or if it's wine? <laughs> I think it should be all of It could all of the above. <laughs> Man, that's not a beverage machine. Now, I guess, would you have a dishwasher up there? Because honestly, if I have a beverage bar, I think it's asking a lot for me to take the cup downstairs. I think you should put a hole in the floor that you just drop your glass down, and it just... Oh, like up. a... Or, or what is it? If you're spending all this money... Right, right. Why do you want a dishwasher in your beauty room? That's so... That's a, that's a great point. You can't relax when work has to be done, like cleaning your glasses. Yeah. Okay. Sight is out of mind. <laughs> you were so on point today. <laughs> it's like for a Monday. It's like words to live by for Mike Z. <laughs> um, okay, so I have on, by the way, I used tan because shocker, I just did a fresh dose of Josie Marin self tanner last night. You guys know that if I went to beauty school, my major would be self tanner. And so because of that, I actually used the tan shade from It Cosmetics. So it looks like I got a little sun. And I will say this if you don't like to be in the sun, and but you're also like, I don't want to be so super pale that I don't want to mess with self tanner either. I think there's great gradual tans out there that's non committal. But I do think if you bump your foundation up one shade and then blend it down your neckline so that it looks natural you get the look of being kissed by the sun and kind of having that bronze without having like the upkeep or like the aging which is terrible what brush were you using with the uh, oh. CC cream so this is a great brush I call it my painter's brush this actually comes with the CC cream which is one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of shopping QVC I mean I've definitely gone to a beauty store for a tube of lipstick that I don't even know what brand it is because it inspired me but you always get a brush when you make a brand new purchase of the CC illumination cream so I actually collect these and um, I think I have like <laughs> I think I have four. Yeah, um, I do, because now that I've got this amazing beauty room, you know, and I have all these things since I've won the lottery, um, I can use it for under eye concealer. You could use it for like a darker bronzer shade to do like reverse contouring, or you could just use it to kind of pat in your highlighter, which I can show you instead of using like a little sponge, I'll show you what it looks like to um, pat in under eye concealer. Woohoo! Yeah, like a brush robot. Yeah. Would come up and just give you the right brush. I wonder what his name would be. I think I'd want it to be something like Benjamin. Like I'd want it to be a very formal name. Like Benjamin, what brush do you think I should use? You know? I like Benjamin. Benjamin's nice. It's a, like a shout out to, you know, Ben Franklin, our guy. Yeah. Our dude. Uh, next up, Hover Cover. So great. Kim Re uh, Gravel. She has a brand new cosmetics line. Well, I shouldn't say that it's brand new, but it's really fully stocked. I love the way that her line has evolved. It's full coverage, which I appreciate. And you don't need a lot, which is also nice because sometimes I feel like to get the coverage that you need to hide darkness or to, you know, cover a breakout, you're just like, I'm going to have to layer that and layer it and layer it. No, no more. So I'm going to do a little combo of medium and light, and I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush just to show you. How I dab it on? The results from our poll are in, and it was a close race. <laughs> okay, do tell. <laughs> what would you do if you won the lottery? Something fun, like a beauty room, mm -hmm. or something practical? And something practical won with 59%. Something practical. You guys are so great out there. I love that. All right, so I'm going to do a combination of both. Because I still have some CC cream left over on this, and I don't want it to be, like, too too much. So I'm doing a little sponge, doing a little brush action. So look, highlighter without highlighter. Just going to shade lighter on my concealer. And I go all like above my brow, beneath my brow. That way when I put on my brows, it looks super sculpted. And I kind of just do this triangle shake. Just like that. And by the way, if you have one of these sponges, great. Um, I don't really use a lot of sponges except to fix mistakes. I feel like if I go a little heavy on my makeup, you just like pat it out and it's perfect. That. Amanda says that she likes to use that same It Cosmetics brush to apply face mask. Oh. That is heaven. 
<laughs> that is a great Genius. suggestion, Amanda. And you know what's funny? I um I get a facial once a year. <laughs> I take my mom for Mother's Day and we go get facials. That's our thing. And they, when you get a mask at the facialist, they will paint it on your face. And you're like, would I ever do that at home? And then you get it done and you're like, why am I not doing this all the time? It's so relaxing. It's so gentle. You're not pulling and tugging on your face. It's, it's just wonderful. Have you ever gotten a facial, Mike? I think, um, like I've done masks. Yeah? What kind of mask have you done? It was a long time ago with, uh, it was a long time ago. At that time, girlfriend, who is now my wife, I think we did like a day of masks. You did a day of masks. Like, maybe not a full day. Yeah. Like, you know, like an movie. Hour to an hour. Yeah. yeah, movie, mask. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's really nice. And my kids have done masks. Mm hmm. But, uh, you know, for the stuff. The stuff. The kids get. You got to keep it fresh. All right, I feel like we're at the most anticipated part of this whole thing. Our theme, Color Pop. If you're watching on QVC.com, you might be on the landing page, you might not be, but if you want to watch, we are. if you search Makeup Monday in the little search bar, it'll take you to our landing page where you can see us live. But we're also on Facebook and we're also on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can ask questions, but we can't respond to you since this is live. But if you're on Facebook, we can answer questions real time on QVC's Facebook, my page, uh, Courtney Case and QVC, and then Beauty IQ. So, shall we begin? Remember when Daenerys Tar Targaryen said that? Shall we begin? I'm, I'm, I'm only in season three. Oh, okay. It's not like a, a spoiler. Like no, 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 no. Well, I was, it was going to be if I told you what, you know, shall we begin. Sean, did you watch the season finale of Game of Thrones? Yes, I did. You did. What did you think? I loved it. It took me a while to process it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh it took me about an hour afterwards. But yeah. Yes, okay. I love it. Okay, great. I was a little upset. I can't say why, because somebody in this room is only in season three, and you may you might not watch it on. So I just I left a little upset. I'm gonna start with magnetic. Two years from now, we're all gonna have a great conversation. About Game of <laughs> Two years right? from now, we're gonna go to a Game of Thrones sponsored lunch, <laughs> and I'll buy. Great. <laughs> you forget most of it. Nah. Be Don't remind them. Yeah. Hey, remember that time that Targaryen said. Shall we begin? He's my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm thinking of the wrong guy, aren't I? Well, she had a brother, so you're not that far off. Okay, I have figured out something. Oh, I mean, I could stop here. It's so great. Okay, whenever you see these magnetic colors, I was swiping them across my eye. You are not supposed to do that. That is a huge no-no. You have to pat them in for them to be as pigmented as they are here on your lids. So don't swipe, just pat. This magnetic shape, like shade, is amazing. It's got like a little blue luster undertone. It is awesome. This is amazing. Do you see all of this, this wonder? I mean, this is like the enchantment of New Mexico. <laughs> it looks amazing. It, I mean, seriously, I could stop here, but I won't. I mean, there's so much that we can do, but it looks so good. So I'm going to take a little bit of the element, which is like this corally gold color, and just kind of lay that over my lids. I think the good thing with ColourPop is you can just kind of experiment. I mean, it doesn't have to be like crazy zero to 10, but I'm gonna see what this looks like just to like lighten it up a little bit. Just right here. <gasps> Excellent decision. Oh man. I love layering eyeshadow. I mean, we could break a bunch of hearts with this eyeshadow. You could too. I don't think I could. I bet you could. Cool. Well, I, you know, I guess it's in the right, you know, right place maybe. Mike, you have us. We'll make, right. we'll make you a heartbreaker. Thank you. You already are a heartbreaker. We have no work to do. Let's not make this about me. I mean, oh, can we, I just can't stop staring at my eyes. This is so good. I mean, this is Monday makeup, you guys. Any other day you tune in and be like, girl's going out on Saturday. Nope, it's a Monday. 
Um, all right, I'm gonna take this Embrace Me and I'm just gonna put that just in the center like of my lid right here just to kind of break up the shimmer so I, it's not overwhelming. Jessica loves this pop-up colors. Oh man. She's watching on Beauty IQ. Hi, Jessica. All right, so a little blend there. Man, you better watch out, Philadelphia. We are coming at ya. Actually, this is the kind of stuff where I always feel like I'm going to go pick up my car because I have like a little recall situation and I just know the person at the counter is gonna be like, You know, just looking. Nice color pop. Nice color pop. Saw you on Makeup Monday, girl. Have you guys watched the series Dead to Me on Netflix? No. No? Is it good? It's really good. Christina Applegate stars in it, and she's amazing for obvious reasons. Um, but they make fun of people that are like, hey, girl. The way they say it, they're like, hey, girl. Girl. Hey. It's so great. <laughs> Yeah, I think you just sold me on it. Yeah, if, if, if you've ever wanted to make fun of like, hey girl, girl, it's your jam. And you'll watch it in a day. It's like 30 minute episodes, so you feel like you make a lot of progress. I, I just don't want to take anything from like Game of Thrones. Right, you, yeah, you're busy for like the next year or so. Shoo Shoo is uh, watching on QVC page, and she says, Hi. love it, her name's Shoo Shoo. I love your name. Uh, love it. Can I see multiple colors? Oh, yes. I'm doing like a purpley magnetic that's got like a blue undertone, and then I'm doing this coral number that's got a gold overtone. So I swiped this all across my lid, and then I took this element color and then just put it right in the center so it would be like super layered and awesome. I mean, this is like, this is almost getting to be Studio 54-esque, which I am into completely. Themes color pop, using a lot of color. All right, so I could do, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this lithium color underneath as liner. That looks like that is a great decision in the making. Yay, nay. Maddie, what do you think? I love it. Okay. Uh, Charmaine is watching us on Beauty IQ, and she says, Hi. love the color, but not sure how uh, that will look on a late 40s woman, LOL, that's laugh out loud, uh, <laughs> willing to give it a try, though, love it. R-O-F-L, at your L-O-L. <laughs> Do you remember that one, rolling on the floor that's laughing? Like, yeah. Wait, did I mess that up? Let's just... Just go forward. Please. Okay. Um, <laughs> at least I didn't spell out a bad word, you know? I was worried. Me too. Because <laughs> I use them often. <laughs> um, I Here's the thing. I, right. Like, great, great call out. Like, whatever age you are, there is a time and a place for ColourPop. I'm not going to go and meet with my boss at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday with ColourPop on my eyes. But on Friday at 4 o'clock, if it's girls' night and there's margaritas, I'm only going to wear my, my eyeshadow to match my pomegranate-themed margarita. Oh. So, girl, you got this. And that's the fun. Like, ColourPop is not something that, if you don't like somebody saying, oh, my gosh, your makeup looks awesome, this, this look is not for you. And that's okay. But I do think part of the fun in makeup is people acknowledging that you did something different and you did something different that was noticeable. I think that's exciting. Uh, Jessica says, I am 45, and I wear I wear these colors. Yes, you do. Hey, girl. Yeah. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, you got this. Trisha says she's definitely going to try this look tomorrow. She owns this palette. She's over 50, it's and so she loves it. Yeah, Trisha. All right, so I just did, like, a little dusting of the lithium and granite underneath my eyes. I'm going to clean this up, and I'm going to get it lined up, but it's... I'm loving the way that this is like taking shape. It's so cool. I'm gonna now, should I go full on glitter liner? <gasps> should we do the heavy metal glitter liner? I love the glitter. Do you think you would do it just in like, should I do it over black liner or should I do it as is? I think hmm. over black liner would make it really stand out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take the 24-7 gel uh, pencil from Urban Decay, just so you see this really quickly. And I'm just gonna softly blend it into my lash line. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm not gonna do a wing. Um, 
it'll be really just really simple. I'm doing this really just so I can do glitter liner. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want glitter liner? You know what this would also be perfect for? If you've got a really great summer concert to go to. Yeah, that would be fun. You know. Um, Are you going to any concerts this summer? I think there's a radio station in town that puts on like that summer jam concert thing. Like I, I do like going to that. I love, when I lived in Atlanta, I used to go to Jimmy Buffett every year. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but so far we don't have any plans. Oh my gosh. This is like amazing. festival makeup. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. All right, there you go. Yes. This is getting so good. I'm so excited for this. And you know, I actually like the silver from the heavy metal because as I'm lining, it's kind of taking away from the black, so it's not too harsh, but it makes it pop just enough. This is so good. All right, let me clean up my under eyes, but this is, this is the look. You'll see it all come together in mere moments. It's gonna be really fun. All right, let me just clean up a little bit. And by the way, if you're watching on Facebook, you can watch on my page, you can watch on QVC's page, or you can watch on Beauty IQ's page. Did I say everything? Mm -hmm. And then we also are on YouTube, and we're also on QVC.com. You can search Makeup Monday. Eric is very upset. <gasps> what? She the first 25 minutes. We've like, been here for 25 minutes. I, yeah, I think. Wow. Guys, this is what happens. I get to talking and doing makeup, and I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. But she, she can watch it again on... Um, yeah. Any of those places you just said. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, watch it on QVC.com. It's Makeup Monday. Um, you can watch it on Facebook. Sometimes you just have to scroll down. But um, that's easy. That's easy enough. All right, best brow pill, uh, pencil if you've only... <laughs> brow pill. How great would that be if you could take a pill that did your brows for you? <laughs> like, you would just wake up every morning and you're like, oh, there you are. <laughs> That would be wonderful. That would this be a great office excuse. Sorry, guys, I forgot my brow pill today. Yeah, I've got to go so home. Good. I'm so sick. I mean, yeah, right. sweating. I forgot my. I actually do sweat if I forget my brows. Um, I actually think so. This is Universal Taupe. This is one of the fastest brow pencils. Um, Tanya Crooks has my favorite one because that's like a more sculpted look, almost like you can give the look of microblading and it looks like real hair. I use this, I mean, it does look like real hair, but it's super quick shape, really easy, easy to feather in, but also kind of like tint your brow hair, especially if you have like light grays and blondes and stuff. Um, it takes just like 30 seconds. If you don't know how to do your brows, this is like the easiest pencil to learn that on. Sherry is watching on your page and says, Hello. Hi, Sherry. Thank you guys for watching. If you are watching, we are live. You can stop by and say hi. Hey, girl, hey. And of course, if you have any questions, Mike's here, Maddie's here. All perfect. <sighs> so good. All right, let me just bring that over. This, that way. And I also feel like if you make a mistake on my brows, which I just did, this is also the easiest to fix without starting the whole look over. Okay, all right, so now that we've moved on from brows, next we need a mascara, and we have got, ooh, that's cute. Um, Anne wants you to know to please invent the brow pill, she will invest. Right, that would be so great. Do we have mascara? I feel like I don't see it here. I think there should be a pink. We have a pink mascara. Oh, there you go, Maddie. Thank you. I was like, if this is mascara, this is not the mascara for me. <laughs> for <laughs> like, yeah, I, I want like gargant gargantuan <laughs> lashes. This is not for me. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so this is Laura Geller Lash, uh, Lash Boss Max. That's a mouthful. Lash Boss Max. And so she's always had this really unique shape to her mascara ones. It's really awesome because I feel like the way that it curves, it encourages your lashes to naturally curl with application. So I'm gonna just 
build this right on up. Man, this has got amazing coverage for just one swipe of the lash. Woo! Ooh, I like that. Okay, I think I don't have to re-dip on this one. I think it'll be perfect. All right, so I'm just kind of sweeping through. I'm using the little ball at the end of the wand to kind of just force my lashes upwards. But I gotta, this looks like fake lashes. This was only one coat of mascara. That is amazing. Sean, can you see? I see it. So good. good. Yeah, look at that height. Oof, everything. All right, so that's Lash Boss. I'm gonna take just a little bit and put it underneath my eyes. Which, by the way, if you have a secret, if you have watery eyes, if you have a secret to share on how to not get your mascara to run or to smudge, please let me know. I am at my wit's end with my allergies. Running mascara to me is like spinach in your teeth. And when I go in the bathroom and see that no one has told me that I have mascara over my face, I am offended. All right, next up, we're gonna do a little highlight, which we love. Look, doesn't that look like little crushed diamonds? It's opulescent. This is their lightest shade. This is Diamond Fire. So it's kind of got a little purpley hue to it. So I'm gonna take this gorgeous brush, do a little tap, and then, oh yes. Just do that right around the eyes, just like so. Woof, girl, love that. That's the cutest brush too. I know, it's so tiny and perfect and not overwhelming. Do you wanna hear something so fun? So one of our beauty besties, Sloan Glass, who is our social correspondent, she has an amazing series on YouTube, it's called the Sloan Series. We were doing our makeup together one day for a shoot and she was like, oh, you put highlighter underneath your eyes? And I was like, yeah, when you turn 30, you will also put highlighter <laughs> underneath your eyes. <laughs> It's like things I'd wish I'd known then that I know now. And it's like I told her, she can prepare for it. She'll know. When she turns 30, she'll always look like she's 22 because she did the whole little lighter under the eyes all the way around the brow. Golden. It's a great trick. It is a great trick. You know, because when you turn 30, you can't eat salt, and all of a sudden you have darkness under your eyes when you got 10 hours of sleep. It's rude. <laughs> You're like, where am I going with my life? <laughs> I don't want to drink the green juice. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this little palette, which is awesome. It's Confidence in a Glow. I'll tell you why I picked this, and then I'll tell you why I carry this every single day of my life. Mike and Sean, you aren't really a part of this conversation because you've never had to carry a handbag, but Maddie knows this. Smaller handbags are in right now. We love a smaller handbag, but it is almost as if, as if, it's, if it's smaller, it's more expensive than the larger size handbag. And when it's smaller, you are trying to get in every piece of valuable real estate that you can. This is like half an inch thick. And when you open it up, it is your highlighter. It is your bronzer. It is your blush. So when you think about touching up during the day, this is all that you need. And it has the most beautiful blush or brush that also won't get funky if you don't have a cover for it. You can just toss it in your bag and it is sheer perfection. So I'm going to start with a little bronzer and just go little contour, just sweep it around the neckline, just like so. Have and you gotten into the belt bag trend, being a small bag? I really want to get into the belt bag trend. I don't think I have enough swagger to pull it off. Oh. I'm afraid somebody oh. would come up to me and be like, I love your fanny pack. No. I'd be like, thanks. Thank you. Which, what is the difference, truly, yeah. between a belt bag and a fanny pack? And who named it a fanny pack? I mean, that's... You know, if you're related to that person, I'm sorry, but I think that is not a great name. It's uninspiring. <laughs> Actually, do you want to hear something also terrible about the name Fanny? <laughs> so in... How do you say no to that? Fashion well, footwear of New York? No, all, well, no, F-A-N-N-Y. <laughs> not as glamorous. So in Cleveland, Georgia, just about an hour up the road from where I'm from, there is this magical place called Babyland General where every cabbage patch in the world is, is made. They come from the mother tree. And so every couple of minutes, the mother tree 
conceives and births a brand new Cabbage Patch baby. And so I went to Babyland General to get a Cabbage Patch. You know, we took her through the OR. You see them, you know, stitch her up, put on her beautiful clothes. Mine came out with blonde hair, blue eyes, and I was so excited. I was like, she's the America's Next Top Model of Cabbage Patches. And so what they don't tell you as a seven-year-old is that the mother tree personally names all of her babies and she used to sign them right. on their backside. Mine was actually named Fanny on her Fanny. <laughs> I have never gotten over that and I didn't love her as much. I'm like, you took this beautiful, beautiful Cabbage Patch baby and you named her Fanny. <laughs> I remember them being like weird names. Yeah, like, always, like, they weird, were. <laughs> old timey names. Well, you never had like a Cabbage Patch named Deborah, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, give me something I know. Mm -hmm. You know, or Maybelline. Like, you never saw yeah. never saw one named Maybelline. You could have like a nickname then. Yeah. Like I remember one of my first times on air was during um, the holiday season and I had a Cabbage Patch on. I was like, I don't think I can do it. I'm not <laughs> over it. <laughs> and I don't know that my kids will have a pack, Cabbage Patch doll. I'll be like, are you sure? Because uh, she didn't have great taste in names, and you'll be scarred for the rest of your life. That's a really sad story. It was terribly sad. I had saved up all my money for a Cabbage Patch for her to be named Fanny. I would be so angry if kids have an input on what their Cabbage Patch names are. My sister didn't. Wow, that makes me feel better. All right, so I'm doing a little blush. Touching it up real quick. All right, last thing, we have lips. So should I do a neutral lip or should I do a pop of color? Pop of color. Pop, pop of, of color? color, okay, we'll do that. Wait, do we have any pops of color? <laughs> you guys probably know me so well that you're like, you should take it down a notch. <laughs> um, let's see, ooh, you know what, really quickly, I just wanna use this all nighter setting thing before I do my lips, cause this will be great. I'm gonna use the Eve Pearl. Just dab. Oh, perfect. So yeah, if you're shiny, always take your setting powder and press it in. Don't swipe it across your face. Cause then, it'll take away all your makeup. Mm. Yes, girl. Yes. Uh, okay, so I don't think I have a pop of color, but what I can do is take this gorgeous color and then pencil it in, which I'm gonna do. So that will be great. Let's see. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. Here it goes. Isn't it really pretty? This is Urban Decay. This is also the 24 7 Glide On Liner. Just a lipstick or a lip gloss? You know what? Like, if I had a lip liner like this, I'd probably just wear it because it stays forever. Um, and I talk a lot, so I feel like I love the idea of lip liner as a color all over my lips. I don't. I wouldn't just wear a lip liner just to line my lips. Um, so I it it depends on what look I'm going for, but most often than not, I just commit to lipstick. But in a case like this, if you're worried about branching out with a new color that's brighter than you'd normally go, I'd start with a lip pencil because it'll never feather on you. You can apply your favorite lip balm on top of it so that it's moisturized. And yeah. Hmm. On a Tuesday. Wow. Thank you. All right, let me just apply a little gloss. Also from Urban Decay, Hi-Fi Shine. Hi-Fi Shine. Hi-Fi Shine. <laughs> Hey, can I get a high five? Sorry. Do you really want one? Mm. Do you know what's really funny? I one time met somebody that didn't give high fives. They're like, I'll give you a low five. And I was like, <laughs> a low five. How long were you friends with that person for? Well, I mean, it was I was on a kickball team in Philadelphia, so I didn't I wasn't in the position to not make friends, which is why I joined the team. He's like, I don't give high fives, I'll give you a low five. And I was like, yeah, people they, give low fives. Did you explore that at all? Like, 
I'm exploring it now. Have you ever gotten a low five? I, I, yeah, sure. I feel like... Like, I would do, I'd like that and then that as a oh, low five, right. but not just like, put it here. I've done the clap at the top and then both hands come down mm -hmm. together. Right. But I mean, as a preference, a low five is a, is a interesting choice. Well, you know, do, is the high five too much pressure? Maybe he couldn't raise his arm. I just, I feel like he just wants to be different. I think so too. Like it was, you know, he thought he was going to be cool and do something different with the kickball team. Right. And now he's, now he's, he's I mean, I'm still talking about him. And now his move is, I only do low fives. He only does low fives. You know, I, I took the bait. I'm still talking about it much like my cabbage patch. So, very impressionable. You know? You never know what we're going to talk about on Makeup Monday. I mean, this color pop has been very cathartic for me on, like, getting rid of angry feelings. Uh, some other girl named Courtney <laughs> says, hi, CC, and the, uh, she's on the default. Wait, is this the other CC? This is the other CC. <gasps> hi, CC. We miss you, but we are having a whole heck of a lot of fun with Maddie, so maybe both of you can come back when you get from Europe. Shall I recap everything that we used? Today's theme was color pop. Color pop. Color pop. Color pop. Poppin'. Poppin'. Color. Sorry. <laughs> I just said something really funny in my head that I'll tell you after the show. Because uh, it's not appropriate. So here's the deal. Color pop, we wanted to just do bright, fun, flashy makeup. And I'll actually take a selfie and post it to my Facebook page so you can guys see, you guys can see like up close and personal everything that I used on my eyes because it's really great. So what I started off with is the Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone. Seriously, if you are looking for like a one-stop moisturizer for summer that just gives you this beautiful glow to your complexion, this may be all that you need along with your SPF. It is perfect for any skin tone and quite frankly, it makes you look like you just walked out of a facial. Yes, won the lottery and have an on-site facialist. Then I used the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is my ride or die. It is single-handedly my most favorite beauty product ever. And I say that with deodorant and perfume being in the running. This is what I would wear to the deserted island because it's your SPF and it's your flawless complexion in a foundation. I used that in a tan shade. I used Hover Cover from Kim Gravel, which Hover is cover. Hover Cover. And it's called, yeah, Hover Cover. Hover. You can go under cover, cover with this concealer. I used medium and I used a little bit of light. Um, and I put it underneath my eyes, up around my brows, just kind of sculpted it out. And then where the real fun happened is I was given this Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette for the Makeup Monday Studios. And I mean, you just open it up and it is like you have hit the unicorn of palettes. I used four of the colors. I used Magnetic, I used Elements, and then I, on my lids, and then I used the Granite and the Lithium underneath my eyes to get a little bit of sparkle. I used the Too Faced Natural Lust Palette to just do colors just in my crease to blend out how beautiful and luminous those colors were. So super simple there. And then the Creme de la Creme Heavy Metal from Urban Decay. It is glitter and I am not afraid to talk about glitter because it is wonderful in every way and you can't have ColourPop without glitter. We did a little lining of the eyes which softened up the black liner that we also used from Urban Decay. Of course, for a 30 second brow fix, brow power from It Cosmetics, we used the Too Faced Diamond Fire yes. ow, ow! <laughs> highlighter. And then your most friendly touch up that you could ever take in a clutch or world's smallest handbag is this confidence in a palette. It is your highlighter, your blush, and your bronzer. You get the best brush that will never turn a funky shape just because you carry it in your purse without a case. And then last but not least, we used, what shade is this? Rush in the 24 seven glide on lip pencil. And then I layered that on with hi fi shine. Hi fi shine. Hi fi shine. I hope that you have the best day ever. Yes. I hope that you are hi-fi shine. And we will see you back next week. No, we won't. No, we will not. <gasps> okay, so everybody has to take a day off. And we're taking the day off on Memorial Day. So we'll see you back in two weeks. There will be like a best of. <gasps> we have a best, we have a compilation? No, it's no we'll be really re-airing a, a, a 
former episode. Okay, so, yeah. so stay tuned at 4 o'clock next Monday because if you're looking to talk shop on some makeup or great skincare, we're going to re-air one of our most popular episodes. But if for any reason you're like, I wonder what Courtney uses on Makeup Monday, if you go to qvc.com, search Makeup Monday, it has a list in chronological order of everything that we have used from each week's episode. You can also visit us on YouTube where all of the Makeup Mondays live. So you can search by themes like ColourPop, Self Tanner, Unboxing, our fabulous Teeley Box. It is all there for you on QVC Originals, which is awesome. But that will wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for dropping by, and we will see you in two weeks with a brand new Live Makeup Monday. Okay, yeah, yeah. everybody say bye! Bye! bye.